Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I am known as the Opinionated Horsewoman and I welcome you to my channel. So today, you guys, I finally, finally received it. Dun, dun, dun. My Jeffree Star Pink Religion order has arrived. You wanna see what I got? Let's just jump right in. While I'm doing that, you guys, if you're new here, I would love it if you join my channel and my YouTube family by hitting that subscribe button down below. Next to it is a bell. You click it, you shade it in. You're notified when I do a new upload. There it is. Okay, you guys, if I were to do this all over again, I would not order this from Jeffrey's website. His shipping took forever. I would order from Beautylish. They have a lower price point to get to free shipping than, him, than Jeffrey does, and they ship faster. So let's just get into it. The card that he sends out with his orders, all about the new Pink Religion line. You guys, I wouldn't normally order this, but these are shades I'm going to use. Um, I only ordered two items. First one, I am excited. I chose one of the Velvet Trap in this collection in holy fashion. <laughs> the top popped off. I love them, you guys. They are magnetic. So I got holy fashion. This is the color. I hope this is as nice as it looked like on his website. I didn't wear lipstick because I want to try it. Woo! Probably not exactly as I was thinking it would look. Has a nice kind of, I don't know if it's vanilla or chocolate. Cute! It's a matte lipstick. Very cute. It's got his star logos all over it, but this is part of the Velvet Trap. Again, magnetic. And it's all mine. All right, so let's get into the fun one. The palette. If I can get it out of the box. It's, it's in there. Here it is. There's the sticker. Should we just try to slide it out gently? There it is, folks. I swear I'm one of the last people to get this because, you guys, USPS lost this for a while and they were blaming it on the California fires. Not much I could do about it. How cute is this? All right, we're going to try to gently open this. I'm sure I'll make a mess of it. It supposedly opens like a Bible. Come on. Come on. All right. Nice feel to the casing on it. Saved. All right, has a nice feel. There's the back of mine. All right, mirror and shades. Now, a ton of people have swatched all of these, so I am just going to go in and pick a few. I have been told some of these are super, super soft and that you can really like dig your finger in if you're not really careful. So what is calling out to me? I like that there are some shades that look like they have some purple tendencies over here, right over here. Those are nice. Um, of course, we know that sometimes how they look in the pans are not how they swatch. So let's go ahead and just going to swatch a couple. I will try to do my arm here. I don't have good arms for swatching because I have a ton of freckles. That's just how I am. Let's swatch Pink Fever, this one right here. Gently. This looks like a mat. Ooh, pigment. Jeffrey's known for major pigment. Major, major. So that was Pink Fever. Let's do the one below it, Fashion Faith. Kind of has raspberry tone to it, I think. We will see how that swatches. That looks really pretty. Being very gentle because, sorry for flipping that. It does swatch. Very similar look to how it shows in the pan. I like that. That's pretty. All right, what else do you wanna do? I like the look of the shimmers, but I'm a little concerned that they're gonna be super soft. So I'm gonna go up and do the one at the top in the middle. It's called, um, I gotta put the shade saver out of the way. Uh, Saint Star, this one right here. 
And as usual, you guys, you know, all anything pink or red toned is going to stain the skin. So this is going to stain. So I'm going to do Saint Star. Very pretty color. I like that a lot. So that is Saint Star. Really pretty, pretty, pretty. Then I like the look of Sugar Savior, which is this one right here. I hope you guys are getting a good look at that. I'm trying to keep the mirror from reflecting the ring lights. So cleaning up the fingers. Um, so Pink Fever. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, I got room for one more swatch and I kind of want to do the shimmer that's almost in the middle, Candy Cathedral. I think a number of people have obviously done it, but that one right there, I'm curious. I understand that this is probably going to be super soft. So gently, gently with my weakest finger, which is my ring finger, because I've snapped it. Ooh, wow, look at that. Let's do it right here. Look at the color on that. So that one was pink, I'm sorry, Candy Cathedral. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So like I said, these are gonna stain the eyes. You know, you can put primer down and you know, maybe even a layer of concealer, but you're probably gonna realize you're gonna have some stain. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, I do wanna try um, one more. This Pink Religion, which is obviously the name right here, Pink Religion. Since that's the name of this whole uh, line, let's let's see what the namesake is going to look like. So I go ahead and make sure my fingers are fairly clean. We will go into Pink Religion for the win here. That's it right there. Let's do it right down That is Pink Religion. So let me know, you guys, what do you think? Obviously, you know, I'm so late to getting this. Everybody's gotten a ton of these. I can't wait to play with it. Um, I wish I would have gotten it, you know, as quicker. But like I said, if I were to do this all over again, I would have ordered immediately from Beautylish. In fact, literally five minutes after I checked out on Jeffrey's website, I was like facepalm. I was like, why did you do that? You had to pay shipping and... If you would have just ordered from Beautylish, I could have ordered a couple other things from different brands. I would have gotten free samples and I would have gotten, I believe their free shipping threshold is like 75 and Jeffrey's is 125. So I had to pay shipping. So I would have gotten probably a free sample and I could have gotten a couple other things. I'd been eyeballing on Beautylish's website. I just, it's literally a face palm. So um, I will tell you that I had a coworker that uh, was messaging me last week saying she really was interested in this palette and I said, order it from Beautylish. <laughs> you'll get it faster. And I said, you'll probably get some free sample, at least one free sample from them. So hers comes uh, later this week, but it took almost, almost two weeks for this to get to me. So it's beautiful. Um, I'm not really one to, you know, pay full price for any of his stuff. Um, in fact, the only stuff I've ever purchased has been his mystery boxes, but um, these are shades I'll wear. So I really wanted to get in on this. Um, I don't know that I would do anything else. I, am, I have a couple of his palettes, um, you know, and uh, I like them, but I got them in mystery bundles and was happy with that. So let's get into the meat of this, which is a giveaway. All right, guys. So this giveaway is going to close August 25th at 6 p.m. Central Time. You will need to be subscribed to my channel uh, publicly so that I can verify it. You need to make sure your channel subscriptions are public. Uh, that's in your channel settings. Uh, you need to be a resident and you, well, I'm sorry, back up. You need to have a mailing address in the United States, the 50 United States, and we will include the district of Columbia. All right. You need to be an eight, adult, 18 years of age or older. I'm not going to get involved with verifying through parents. I'm not doing that. Um, you need to have a valid USPS, United States Postal Service, mailing address because the items will ship via the United States Postal Service, all right? Uh, when I pick a winner, you'll have 48 hours to respond or I will pick another winner. Uh, you need to like this video. That means you gotta click the thumbs up, guys. There will be a secret word, which we'll get into briefly here in a minute uh, that you'll need to use down below in the comments um, in a sentence format. 
All right, let's get into what we're giving away in this one. Because this is all Jeffree Star in today's unboxing, I'm going to give you guys some Jeffree Star stuff, okay? First item is a Jeffree Star limited edition. Uh, probably not. It's a it's a t-shirt. It's got his logo. It's just a black one, and the size is extra large, all right? This is it. Never opened. It's got his logo here in the kind of green color. All right, so that will be in there. And then I am giving you guys one of his... Um, Velvet liquid lipsticks in birthday suit. All right. And then the final item is one of his famous glosses. And it is in um, Let Me Be Perfectly Clear. It is a clear, clear uh, gloss. All right. Perfect to go over the top of, of a, um, like a matte lipstick or whatever you want it to go over. Or just work clear on its own. So these items. Okay. So. Jeffree Star Cosmetics is not affiliated or associated in any way with this giveaway. I paid for these items through my own money, all right? Nor is YouTube affiliated with this. So you will need to leave a comment down below. And like I said, in sentence format, and the word is going to be uh, irresistible. Um, I feel like I have, yeah. All right, so that is how you spell it. You guys, please use a spell check to make sure you are spelling it correctly because when I use the comment picker, if you spell it wrong, it's not going to know that that's an entry, okay? I will also have it on the screen, okay? And this will close August, like I said, August 25th at 6 p.m. Central Time. And I will be using a comment picker. So all the rules are going to be down below in the description, you guys. All right? So um, I have this month, the end of this month on the 30th, will hit my two-year anniversary on YouTube. Kind of hard to believe. It's just been a whirlwind. Um, and I am pushing to try to hit 2,000 subscribers. By that time, I am within 100 of that. But you guys, we are going through, um, YouTube is doing its quarterly audits on their entire platform. They are removing subscription numbers like crazy. Uh, everybody's been talking about it on videos uh, throughout the weekend. Um, we all just did our Mask Monday Ladies collaboration videos and everybody was complaining about it. Uh, they're finally noticing how many like subscribers they're losing. And I know that a number of, um, People who watch are commenting that their um, comments aren't showing up um, or they're being unsubscribed from channels. Now, there are ways I can tell you, do not include the hashtag symbol or an at, like for an, e for an email address. If you include that, depending on how the creator has their um, settings on their channel, your comment can be flagged if you use certain things. Also, if you're typing a sentence, you hit you know the period and then you forget to hit a space before you type the next word, it looks like that's a website URL, and that will also flag YouTube, and your comment will get thrown into the hell to review. So be very careful with words and symbols and spaces on how you, like, leave comments, because they can get flagged. Uh, it happens all the time on my channel. I am constantly, I actually today cleared out four comments that had been held from Saturday and Sunday. My regulars, um, just not, like I said, either using a hashtag, an ant symbol, or not using that, a space after hitting a, you know, a period and a sentence. And it flagged, um, it was flagged. Uh, so that, and you guys, again, you know, you guys are saying you're watching videos all the way through, but you know, my guess is that you're not <laughs> if you're having issues with YouTube. So I watch a lot of videos on a faster speed, partially because a lot of creators, especially those who are fairly new to the channel, um, are not editing their videos and they are creating these long pauses and they just, they talk really slow. And to be honest with you, you guys, if you're a creator and you're watching this, you need to edit and get that stuff out of your video. People have the attention span of a gnat. You've got to keep them engaged. I speed up my videos a lot. So um, I talk fairly quick, but I don't talk fast enough, in my opinion, all the time to keep your attention. So I will often just speed it up slightly. Um, yeah, so those are my suggestions, guys. So sorry for the long diatribe, but again, the super special awesome word is irresistible. Make sure you use it in a sentence format down below, all right? Um, so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed my Mask Monday Ladies video. Um, as I've mentioned, I am having, um, you know, this anniversary coming up, so a lot of my videos contain giveaways, you guys. Wink, wink, nod, nod. Hint, hint. Check them out. Uh, get entered if you're interested. Some of them have quicker turnarounds, you know, took quick, the quicker deadlines than others. Um, and if you can, help me get to that 2000 subscribers by sharing me to your friends and family or whatever if you think they would enjoy this content I would be really grateful so uh, before I let you guys go I have been trying to remind you guys if you are having 
you know, what I call riding the struggle bus. If life has gotten a little bit challenging right now, a little overwhelming, uh, you're having anxiety, um, unhappy thoughts, please, please, before you do anything, talk to somebody. Find someone that you trust, a uh, friend, family worker, coworker, neighbor, uh, someone in your church, your doctor, um, sit down and talk to them. If you do not want to talk to somebody that you know, these people right up here would love to talk to you and help you, okay? They will help you find help um, and they will listen. And let me tell you, sometimes just talking about your problems can help unburden you to some extent. So it's a place to start. People will help you, okay? Please, um, please consider that, all right? Remember how special and amazing you are. You are the only one of you on this planet. There is nobody in this in this entire planet like you. And please don't ever forget that, all right? So I hope you can um, have a good day or good evening, uh, a good weekday, a good evening, a good weekend, however you're seeing this. And uh, I will hopefully see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.